Turning now to a protest outside Sky Harbor today. Some workers say conditions are unsafe in our extreme heat. But the airport services company that they work for say they have plenty of resources for employees to stay safe and hydrated. Team 12's Bianca Bono is live at Sky Harbor tonight with the details. And Bianca, what more can you tell us? Well, Mark, we've learned that the state's Workplace Safety Division has received two complaints this summer about this airport services company. We are here for our health and well-being. Linda Ressler is a cabin cleaner at Sky Harbor, working for Prospect Airport Services. She says this summer has been brutally hot. Making work in the airplanes extremely difficult. Giving a glimpse into just how difficult. She says some airplanes she cleans are cooled, but some are not. We often aren't given access to water to drink on the airplanes while we are cleaning the cabins and I sometimes resort to drinking water left over from the passengers. Ressler was joined by colleagues outside the airport Wednesday calling on Prospect to make changes saying they've detailed their safety concerns and complaints made to Arizona's Division of Occupational Safety and Health and want an investigation. An ADOSH spokesperson says they received two complaints about Prospect this summer and both cases are still open. Corbin Green has got to go. In a statement prospect responding to these employees claims saying they had a training in June to educate employees on heat illness awareness and prevention that employees have access to several refrigerated water coolers in an air conditioned break room with popsicles in the freezer and airline partners prohibit employees from working in an enclosed aircraft cabin if the temperature is 90 degrees or above a spokesperson confirming they've provided all of that information and more to ADOSH in response to the complaints employers like prospect have a duty right now to protect their employees. And these employees are also asking for pay raises and better benefits. They're hoping that Congress can include that in the FAA's budget. We're live at Sky Harbor tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News. Bianca, thanks.